With eight mainline Yakuza games, ten if you count the Kwamis as new games, and twelve if you include Judgment, plus a handful of spin-offs involving zombies and samurai, the operatic Japanese series has been going strong for the last decade and a half, with no signs of slowing down. And the steadily growing Yakuza fanbase wouldn't have it any other way. So to pass some time until Like a Dragon 2 comes out, or while you're waiting for Sega to localize Ishin and Kenzen, here are seven things you probably didn't know about the Yakuza series. Kiryu has made quite a few guest appearances in other games. Most recently, he popped up in Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, where he collected Torner bottles instead of bananas, and you can also find him packing some major firepower alongside Majima in the 3DS tactical RPG Project Cross Zone 2. He's also a DLC skin for the sci-fi shooter Binary Domain, which was developed by the Yakuza team, and you can have him hit the links in Everybody's Golf 6. However, despite his formidable talent for brawling, you won't see Kiryu in a fighting game. Series creator Toshihiro Nagoshi refuses to let this happen because Kiryu would never hit a woman. It was announced in 2020 that a feature film adaptation of Yakuza is in the works in Hollywood, but there already is one. It was released way back in 2007, just months after the second Yakuza game hit PS2 in Japan. It's directed by Takashi Miike, known for his films Audition and Ichi the Killer. Amazingly enough, though, the Yakuza movie isn't the only live-action adaptation to come out of Japan. The entire first game was also adapted into a live stage production, complete with fight scenes, heat actions, dramatic character introduction title cards, and yes, at one point Kiryu even stops mid-fight to open his inventory and chug an energy shot. Kiryu's Japanese voice actor Takaya Kuroda has played the Dragon of Dojima since the very first game, and since the third game, Kiryu's likeness has been based on his actual face. In addition to lending his chiseled features and dulcet tones to the Yakuza games, Kuroda is also lead singer of a rock band called Takaya Kuroda and Goodfellas. Better yet, they've been known to do live covers of fan-favorite Yakuza karaoke songs like Baka Mitai and Machine Gun Kiss. Of course, aside from playing Kiryu, Kuroda has had dozens of other voice roles, including Lin in the King of Fighters games, Kinkaku in Naruto Shippuden, and Cranky the Crane in the Japanese dub of the Thomas the Tank Engine show, Thomas and Friends. Yo, Thomas. Oh yeah, and Kuroda also made a cameo opposite Kiryu in a Yakuza 5 sub-story, though apparently Kuroda didn't know this was happening until he played the game himself. Speaking of voice acting, thanks to the growing popularity outside of Japan, the more recent Yakuza games have gotten dubbed into other languages, something that hadn't been attempted since the first game's infamously bad American dub on PS2. Did you know that Goro Majima was originally voiced by Mark Hamill? Yeah. Of course you did, but he didn't. STUPID! In 2018, a fan tweeted at him about it, to which Hamill replied, I don't remember and I don't know what this is from. It's possible Mark genuinely forgot about the role, and it's possible he wants to distance himself from the awful localization, and of course, it's also possible that Mark Hamill is just trolling. He's been known to do that. Outside of his performance in Yakuza 6, The Song of Life as Patriarch Hirose, Takeshi Kitano is one of Japan's most legendary entertainers. He's found success as a comedian, a serious actor, a director, and a game show host, but he's allegedly not a fan of video games. So much so that he developed a game, as legend has it, specifically to piss off people who did like them. Takeshi no Chozensho, or Takeshi's Challenge, released for the Famicom in 1987 and was hilariously difficult to an almost sadistic degree. It was the first game to receive a sh** rating from the Japanese gaming magazine Famitsu, and after that, Kitano had basically nothing to do with games for 30 years. But then, he popped up as Hirose in The Song of Life, so what changed? Well, according to an interview with Toshiro Nagoshi, they'd been drinking buddies for years, it just took Nagoshi a while to build up the courage to ask Kitano to appear in one of the Yakuza games. In Japan, the Yakuza series has always been known as Ryu ga Gotoku, or Like a Dragon. This presumably refers to Kiryu, who is the dragon of Dojima, but there are more layers to it. Depending how it's written out, Kiryu's name can be broken down to Ki for spirit and Ryu for dragon. Ryu is a pretty common name in video games, and it's popped up in Street Fighter and Ninja Gaiden to name a few. That's probably because dragons kick ass. Kiryu is not even the only dragon in Yakuza. There's also Ryu Jigoda, Kiryu's rival in Yakuza 2, whose name can be written as dragon ruler or commander, or dragon next or second. 
Meanwhile, in Yakuza Like a Dragon, Ichiban Kasuga's name is more of a running joke, as Ichiban means number one and is regularly used as a marketing buzzword to sell everything from beer to instant ramen. It'd sort of be like a guy in America being named Premium or New and Improved. And of course, while Kiryu and Ryuji both have sick dragon tattoos, Ichiban's is of a dragon fish, which is like a dragon, almost, but it's more of a bottom feeder than a mythical beast. However, it seems like it's a nod to the Chinese story about a carp that swims upstream to become a fearsome dragon, which is something we've also seen before in video games. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag on there. The Yakuza series has a long history of giving real-world personalities guest roles in-game. Real-life adult film stars have appeared as hostesses and in-game cam girls, and New Japan pro wrestlers have appeared on the streets of Kamurocho to lay the smackdown. For Yakuza Like a Dragon, RGG Studios held a contest to cast one of the female supporting roles. Usually with these kinds of contests, it's to read lines for a minor role, but in this case, the actress who won was just inserted completely into the game herself. Eri Kamataki is played by none other than Eri Kamataki, and considering she can be recruited to Ichiban's party, that's one hell of a role. Sadly, the real-life Eri doesn't run a wildly successful snack food company, and she's never won a street fight by smashing dudes over the head with office supplies and rice crackers. At least, not as far as we know. And there you have it. Did you learn anything new from this video? What's your favorite piece of Yakuza trivia we didn't cover? And which Japanese words did I horribly mispronounce the worst? Let us know in the comments, and for more trivia list videos that dare to think they know more than you do, check out what you probably don't know about Metroid and Resident Evil. And for everything video games, keep it right here on IGN.